and welcome to World of Work, an eye-catching introduction to the experiences of students in Highland High School. For my own personal work experience, I went to Positive Pictures, and for a week I assisted in planning, producing and editing this video. Over the next few minutes, you see students performing a variety of different tasks on location, with different employers and working environments. They all, however, have one thing in common. Each one, like me, has experienced something quite different from their day-to-day -day life and may well base career choices around this brilliant part of high school life. I hope you enjoy this short production and find it interesting, informative and entertaining. So, what is work experience? Work experience gives you like um, a different a feel of working hours and working in different places and trying to cope with different situations and things like that. So, it's, it's been fun for me. It's good because it's learned me how to work a towel because I've never worked in a shop before. <laughs> Um, I describe it as something different to learn how like a business works and how to how the job involves. I don't know, like a good time off school and you learn a lot. Work experience comes in all different shapes and sizes. Let's go meet Emmett, who's working with the Rangers at the country park. Uh, to me, work experience is showing you what a job will be like later in life. I came out here shopping down these rhododendrons. Rhododendron ponticum is an invasive plant and it covers the ground so there's no light that gets through to the ground so he's part of a, a big scheme that we've had going for over 30 years to try and eradicate this plant from the island. Is that what he'll be doing for the whole week? He's got lots and lots of activities planned. Yesterday he was helping us write the Young Naturalist magazine. Um, tomorrow he's going to be going up into Glen Rosa to remove bracken. Um, Thursday I think he's going to help us with some more rhododendron. Hopefully it benefits him in giving a bit more confidence. Um, perhaps he'll learn a new skill, something he may never have used, may never have used a saw before. Um, he may have never had to write an article before. Um, he may not know what bracken is. So for him hopefully it will be learning new, new skills and maybe might persuade him that rangering is what he wants to do in the future. <laughs> I have been working on the towel and stocking the shelves and making the boxes for the bars of soap and making soap. I think this is a good place to work because they're all really friendly people here and it's just a nice environment. Well, Bethany started on Monday, and first of all, we show um, we're shown around the whole company. We go and introduce her to each department, and the person there tells her what their job is, what they do for the company. Then we've had a um, trying to get to know our products in the shop. We take her around and show her all the different ranges and tell her all about the different products. And then we had her making soap and we showed her how to do that and then she's able to do it herself now which is great experience for her. So what's Stephen doing just now and what's he going to be doing for the rest of the week? Well right now he's making up Divot Mix and um, that will be going out onto the fairways and tees after the kind of you know the busy summer and um, this is a well, sort of renovation really mm -hmm. and so that's we I mean, he's in there doing that just now and then we'll go out and do that um, the only the, I mean, the problem is we're, we are kind of a bit restricted on what we do of course what we can actually get them to do but we try we try to give them a, a sort of feeler for the job what's all involved really and I mean we've been out this morning we shifted some holes um, I mean you can you can go raking bunkers I mean they'll be doing divoting just things like that really. We'll, give a, we'll try and give an idea of the, of the actual job. Well, I was uh, thinking about being a greenkeeper before uh, I chose this, so it's made me think about, a bit more about it uh, to choose it. This is the divot uh, mix. You put it all in the bags and then uh, you take it out in the course and then like put it in divots and then it'll uh, like, soon grow and become grass. What made you choose this placement? It wasn't my first choice, but um, it was my favourite out of the choices I was given. I like being here, like, it's a lot better than school. So what's Anna going to be doing this week? Well, she's going to be washing some dishes, uh, preparing garnishes, 
helping with some of our cakes, how to make the cakes and uh, how to do our uh, sandwiches and uh, toasties. Uh, she'll be helping make coffees up front, uh, serving on tables, uh, doing some cash handling. So Chris, you want me to choose this placement? Well, I want to keep my options open for um, my career further on, so I just wanted to try out different type of areas and stuff, so I thought this would be quite interesting. It's made me think about um, like, like older people care more interestingly because I thought you just kind of thought it was kind of a bit boring, but it's actually quite fun talking to them and learning about their life and things, so yeah. As you know, it used to be you only had one job for life when uh, in a long while ago, but now you can have lots of different jobs in your life. So I'm hoping to do quite a few jobs in my time. Every day she's expected to um, write up on the board what the activities are, um, the menu for the day, and just a little bit about the weather and any other sayings, anything of interest. Has it been different from what you expected? Yeah, I thought I'd be doing a lot more like poolside and just helping out but it's more cleaning. I think you have to choose carefully and talk to the manager of what they want to go for at Work Experience to find out what you actually will do. I believe she's doing very well. I was speaking to a couple of the, the leisure staff yesterday and they were quite impressed with her. She seems to be a hard worker. Um, she's uh, getting stuck in there, so seems to be doing well. I was interested in what the council do and what, like how they manage to do it. So I'd quite like to work in the road maintenance. Jonathan's looking at all aspects of the council work, including building control, looking at new buildings around the island. Um, he's working with roads, grounds maintenance, cleansing. I hope Jonathan gets out of it an enjoyment. Uh, he enjoys his time with us and I hope that uh, he goes away knowing a bit more about how the council works and maybe help him to make an informed decision later on, maybe what career path he wants to choose. So that's what we students get out of it. But what about the employers? Uh, sometimes it, it takes you a little bit of thinking, you have to perhaps do a little bit of preparation beforehand but the benefit we certainly get out of it is huge and I'd like to think that the benefit that the students get out of it is also great as well so it's well worth doing, definitely. It shows us what kind of people are, are out there and how they've been educated, uh, how they're getting on at, uh, at school and how, how their personal uh, side of their lives are, are um, aiding the, in, the, in the village and in the, on the island itself. Kirsty in particular, she's brought a fresh face. Uh, she brings in news every day. Um, we class her as an extra uh, member of staff, really, who can help with the residents. Um, she brings enthusiasm. Uh, she's got a good sense of humour. Um, she just generally supports the residents, can chat with them and um, just give them time. And I think sometimes in a very busy world like we work in, you know, his time is everything for the resident and also a listening ear. Um, so we feel we're very beneficial having work experience students. We will be looking for apprentices, you know, right, right down the line. We've got, we do have an apprentice right now and he will be finishing in, say, two years. So he'll be moving on. So, I mean, it, I mean, it always gives a young guy a look at the job as well. Um, other than that, um, what do we get out of it really? Um, well, I mean, we, we can use them, we, we do get the, the week's work out of them, of course. It gives us a chance to let younger people see what we do at work, how the council works. Most people don't appreciate the range of services we provide. For the first thing, it makes us think about what we do and, and how we do it, which is very helpful to us. Also gives us an insight into staff of the future, people that are interested in the company um, through the week, 
I mean, the work experience person actually gets more confident and progresses. And sometimes, you know, we think, my goodness, there's real potential there for us. And we say to them, if you're looking for a job in the future, please apply, you know. So some of the girls we have had before, our boys have come back and worked for us as a seasonal and thoroughly enjoyed it. So it benefits us and it benefits the work experience person as well. It's well worthwhile, I would say. Um, because most of the feedback we get, and we've been doing it for a number of years now, is that the people really enjoy it and they seem to genuinely enjoy it. They're not just saying it because we're asking them. They seem to genuinely enjoy their weeks here um, in whatever department it's in. So it's it's worthwhile from a people's point of view, and I think from ours as well, to see them enjoying themselves and hopefully, as it's happened in some cases, people come back maybe for a summer job or, or you know various school holidays throughout the year. So do you have any message for the students next year? I just think it is a good thing to do and if you like golf then you should choose it. Choose the one you're more likely to enjoy. Be confident, it's not scary. <laughs> um, if you like outdoors this is a fun placement to go for. Pick something you'll enjoy in a couple of years. Yeah, it's a good chat.